There's an old Indian saying that to live here and understand the world, you gotta love it. Some people love money, some people love material things. Shawa no? Gabi no? Kiwaiti no? Nakomasaki? I love that rice. I do. I love that rice and that lake out there. I loved it all my life. Oh yeah, my mother too gave me show me some nothing. That for what I say, my say me quite get your money too. I'm in a gizik noon room, and the shinabe, and the shinabe quay. Oh, she mocked the money, she mocked the money. He quit, she gets your money too. Oh. I'm 65 now, so that's 55 years that I've actually been out there somewhere doing rice. My mom made us go pick it and buy our own school clothes. So I learned the different things of, of that manoma and what it does for me. These two little bony arms, once I get going out there, I don't want to quit. I got this rhythm, and you call it a wham, 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 wham. That's the rhythm. Now a polar, he keeps up with that rice. He goes into the ripe stuff and tries to get the best heads he sees. So that guy's rhythm gets all in plants on both sides. As much as we can get in every two hits, he's pulling. I'm keeping that tap. In my mind, every time I hit a new plant, I'm saying, miigwech, thank you. Every miigwech, miigwech in my mind. And then the rice comes in for me because I'm honoring and praying to that rice. Giving it that respect that go to keep me and my partner going, no matter if I'm pulling or the guy tapping the rhythm. When I touch them cedar sticks on that rice and it comes off, I know them babies are gonna eat, my drum's gonna be fed, the life's gonna go on for another year. That's gratitude. My grandma used to call it uh, roasting and parching. She liked to use the word roasting better because of the aroma and what she did with her hands and the fire and tools she used to make that come out dehydrated enough to last all winter for five years maybe. Even. If you don't get it wet or you can store it right, it'll be good for you. That medicine. In my growing up in my traditions, the older people told me that the Creator gave us this manomen to help us survive for our time that we spend here with Him. It's the Creator's food, and that Mother Earth, she gives it to us to use. That's why they call it food that grows on the water. So I'm trying to keep that for all the Anishinaabe people and prayers going and of eating that food every year. Because we believe if we stop that tradition, that the world's going to stop. That's why it's important for the Indian people to keep on with our traditions and our spiritual thinking. Because if we stop, what if the world does stop?